I'm gonna shoot myself. <laughs> Me and my mom's not getting along. <laughs> What's your name? Tracy. Tracy, are you at home by yourself? Do you want me to have the sheriff's department out there to talk to you? No! I don't want my parents to hear. You, well, you need to talk to someone you can trust. I don't have anybody. They pick on me at school, I want my clothes, my family, and everything. Have you told a teacher? Nobody believes me. Well, well, I believe you. I, I, I believe you. Tracy? Tracy? Tracy, are you there? Tracy? We got a phone call on Monday morning that uh, from, our, from his twin brother, David, our other son, saying that Daryl had died during the night of suicide. With that one phone call, your whole life changes absolutely everything. The problem with suicide is a terribly personal act even if it's not, doesn't feel that way to the person who does it. Hi, I'm Judy Collins. In the United States, 30,000 people die every year of suicide, and approximately 350,000 survivors are created. The deaths spread a shadow of despair and trauma over the survivors, family, and friends who are left behind. I know because my son died of suicide when he was 33. After I nearly died from my suicide attempt, my mother said, you know, how, how could you imagine that we could cope with your having died? My feeling was not that way at all. More than 90 to 95% of suicides are associated with one of five major psychiatric illnesses.